landing and masting. The ground handling officer selects a landing location on the mat, which is clear of any turbulence and offers an unobstructed landing and wave off area. The landing party is composed of the ground handling officer, the ground handling chief, the flag man, two line handlers, and the ground handling mules. The mules are positioned at the downwind edge of the mat on either side of the expected approach path. The ground handling officer estimates the speed, attitude, static condition, and the effect of weather conditions on the airship during the approach. As the airship touches the ground, the mules move up on each side. When the airship has slowed down sufficiently, the line handlers take the nose lines to connect them to the mules. During this or any other ground handling operation, the men of the ground handling crew must never allow both feet to leave the ground. The mules vary the pull on the lines to keep the airship headed into the wind. The pilot regulates his engines as directed by the ground handling officer to help check the fore and aft movement of the airship. The ground handling officer now signals the tractor driver to bring up the mast. The tractor driver is alert for a possible signal to move the mast out again in case of an emergency. The nose pendant is attached to the hauling in line. The winch operator takes up the slack. Then the mast is moved in closer. The ground handling officer orders the winch operator to take one turn of the hauling in line around the drum. He orders another turn around the drum. When the nose cone is in the cup, the top man raises the cup to the vertical position. Having made sure that the lugs are engaged, he signals that the airship is locked in the cup. The ground handling officer directs the winch operator to slack off the hauling in line. The nose pendant is attached to the pelican hook. The bottle screw is tightened and the hauling in line disconnected. The airship is now masted. To complete the operation, the nose handling lines are released from the mules and secured. Additional ballast is added. And after the auxiliary power unit has been put aboard, the pilot secures the engine. 